So we are here with Koba. Koba is a year and a half old Brittany Spaniel and he pulls like there's no tomorrow. We are gonna stop his pulling in five minutes. Koba, there's no engagement. I can stop, this is absolutely ridiculous. Koba will run around. There's no attention to me. Who's walking who? Is Koba walking me or am I walking Koba? The issue is Koba's owners used a prong collar with Koba as a band-aid to never, ever, ever take off. It was almost a permanent solution to the pulling, just to make the pulling a little better. And that's not what we do with prong collars. With prong collars, we teach a dog how to walk using a couple corrections, and then we don't need the prong collar again. It's very, very simple. I'd much rather teach Koba, make him a little uncomfortable for, I don't know, three, four minutes, maybe a couple corrections, and then not need it again, as opposed to have Koba pulling and being uncomfortable and stressed out and anxious for the rest of his life. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna hook Koba up to the prong collar. It is about to go live. There we go. All right, prong collar is live. Oh, and it broke free. That's why we have the safety clip on. Let's see if we can get this all fixed up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is why we have the safety clip. So the prong collar does not fall off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna teach Koba a little game of red light, green light. But for Koba to be able to know the rules of the game and understand, Koba has to pay attention to me. And if Koba doesn't pay attention to me, Koba is going to get a correction. And Koba's only gonna get a couple, maybe somewhere between two and five corrections, and Koba is gonna be a lot more engaged. First thing we're gonna do is, once Koba gets a little, little bit ahead, we're gonna give him a correction. We are gonna stop and walk the other way. We are telling Koba, giving him the U-turn sign. And if he's with me, if he's paying attention, he's gonna be with me and he's not gonna get a correction. But as you can see, there's no attention and he is going to get a correction if he's not, like this. And look at him, he's already looking at me, good boy. And every correction always comes with a payment because we want Koba to want to work with us. If Koba, if all we do is correct Koba, he is never gonna have the drive to want to work for you, right? We correct him and we show him the behavior that we want. So we're gonna do this a couple more times. Once Koba gets ahead, he's already more engaged with me, already walking a lot closer, but he's gonna need maybe one or two more. Good boy, good. And he kind of caught me on that one, which is good. So he didn't get a correction because he jumped and hopped right in. Look at this engagement. A minute in maybe, he is much more engaged, still not perfect. This is getting towards a cheater's heel, but we're not fully there yet. He is a lot more engaged. This is a lot better, right? So I'm, he is looking at me for, okay, is Ethan saying red light, green light, U-turn? What is Ethan looking for? And if he's up ahead, as he's starting to get now, he can't pay attention to me and what I do. He does keep looking back, which is good. It's almost a cheater's heel. See if we can get one more in. Oh, good boy, good. Still taking his food. As you can see, he is not upset. He is not freaking out. It was a mild correction on him and he's already a lot more engaged. It was uncomfortable for him for a 10th of a second and he's a lot more engaged. Game number two or second part to the game is a sudden stop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stop suddenly, draw an invisible line at the tip of my toes and if Koba's toes are ahead of those in, in of that invisible line, he's gonna get a correction. If he stops and exactly with me and he is engaged with me, he's not gonna get a correction like this. Whoop, good boy! He got a very small correction because he caught himself the second I stopped. Okay, good boy. Look at this heel. He just keeps looking up at me. He's now not sniffing around everywhere. He's engaged with me. He's allowed to look around. It, you know, we haven't formalized the heel yet, but good boy. No correction there. He is on point. He is already doing, 
I don't know, a hundred times better just from those, what, three corrections we gave him, maybe four, three and a half mild corrections. He is doing absolutely amazing. The last part of this is we're going to pay him exactly where we want him, right? When he does listen and stay engaged with me and he is playing this game awesome, he gets paid. This is his job to do. His job is to sit, look at me and see what my body language is, whether I want a red light, a green light, a yellow light, a U-turn. Good boy! Fantastic. Super, super easy. We are now paying him where we want to be. It is balanced training. It is not just the positive only, but it is also not we're just correcting him. And as you can see, Koba is none the worse for wear. He is so, so, so happy. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me any comments if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next one.